Hi, this is Cindy McGee for createalong.com. Today I'm using items from the faux fabulous create along box to create a shimmering chandelier pendant. I started by conditioning and rolling out some black clay and this is Primo to a number two on my clay machine. And then I applied three coats of this awesome uh, DecoArt Media interference paint. It looks white pretty much when you open it and when you first start to paint it on, but as it dries it picks up the beautiful shimmer of the color and just is absolutely gorgeous. It's a totally different effect on different colors of clay, but I did use three coats to get it to this point, and then I let it dry. I'm going to silk screen using the tooled leather silk screen that came in the box, and then I'm going to cut my shapes using the shape template. This is template number 10, and it also was included in the box. I'm going to silk screen with some black acrylic paint. And here you go. Ta-da! It's absolutely beautiful silk screened onto that iridescent background with that black paint. Once the silk screened image was completely dry, I used my template to cut the elements for the pendant. I just placed the template that I wanted as I liked over the image and used a craft knife to cut out the image. And then I did the same with two smaller pieces. I removed the excess clay and then I lifted them off the tile and just used my fingers to smooth the edges a bit. I wanted to use this beaded chain to add some dangles and give it sort of a chandelier effect. So I needed to make holes in the piece before baking. I'm using the pointed end of my do everything tool to make the holes in the pieces where I want my chain to be attached. I used my finger to apply just a touch of this awesome ground silver fine metal powder that was included in the box. I didn't want to cover completely those black edges but sort of add a bit of the silver here and there. This powder is incredible. It really looks metallic and, and has a great shine. Once I had done all of the pieces, I did add a little bit to the backs too, I went ahead and baked them according to the manufacturer's instructions. Once all the pieces were cool, I used silver jump rings. I added one to each of the holes that I made, and then I mounted the pieces of the chain together. I did change my design a little, decided not to use that second small one. And here it is after I got all of my dangles and attachments, etc. added. Join me next time for another unique project using a great assortment of tools and products from createalong.com.